everyone has their own definition of what omnichannel means. I think for some folks it means you're uh, putting together the digital world with a brick and mortar world. Um, in our case, I think omnichannel means you know, delivering products and goods to the customers they, the way they want at the convenience and speed that they request. So omnichannel can be order direct shipments to the house, it could be shipments that go from our distribution centers to the store for pickup. Um, it's really all about what the customer's expectations are. So omnichannel is a systematic, you know, fancy way of just saying customer has a need, where they want it, how they want it, when they want it. Omnichannel, uh, omnichannel is the binocular of just getting that done. To me, it's just all the different channels, whether it's e-com or physical retail or wholesale or discounted retail or whatever it might be. It's the collection of outlets, not store outlets, but literal different paths from which a company can monetize their goods. I would actually define omnichannel by talking about what I think makes a company really good at omnichannel, and that's if they don't use the word channel at all. Right? I think that far too often we use that, that term in industry and it turns out that consumers just don't care. So companies that break down barriers and break down those channels and operate as one seamless enterprise are the ones that are winning today. So omnichannel is an interesting word. I'm not a big fan of the term. I actually believe um, even the tracking is getting confusing because the, I mean, we still talk about online retail sales as a percentage of total sales and the fact is um, the journey, the customer journey is cutting across all of these different methods, whether uh, heavily online, whether the actual, wherever the transaction may end up with. So, um, I mean, I, th I think of omni-channel as just retailing. I don't know that I think of it as something distinct. Uh, we've only got a handful of folks that are actually going to only play in, you know, one channel of this, but virtually everybody else is going to cover everything. At, at Canadian Tire, uh, Omnichannel uh, is interesting because we have about six or seven different retail banners. Uh, but Omnichannel, you know, primarily, uh, we start with brick and mortar. But as we expand to our different customers, we think about uh, the uh, e-commerce experience, so people are able to shop online. And like everybody else, think about where we're going to pick up goods, where we're going to ship goods, how uh, customers can return goods, and have a good overall experience so that at the end of the day, uh, the customers think about a whole lifetime of value uh, when they come into our, our various banners and stores uh, so that we're able to give them the solutions that they need uh, because what we say at Canadian Tire is we want to have the solutions for the jobs and joys of life in Canada. A defined omni-channel is customers will shop uh, wherever it's best for them whenever they want to and as a retailer our job is really to deliver that service and that experience to the customer. Omnichannel is, for me, customer-centric logistics. So instead of your freight being driven by your supply, it's driven by your demand. Uh, so you should almost think of Omnichannel as a shift from supply chain to a demand chain. And what that means is, for when you get a customer's order, you're gonna find the best way to fulfill that order. And it might be that the product that they wanna buy is in the store. Uh, it could be on a container ship, it could be on a truck could be in your warehouse, it could be in many different places. In an omni-channel world, your systems are able to go and find that product and get it in the hands of that customer as quickly or as cheaply as possible. The way I think about omni-channel is being able to get the products that you want uh, from any way that you might shop. The most important piece of that, I think, is being able to connect the customer journey throughout all of those channels. So knowing that the Jameson who shops online is the Jameson who comes into your store, is even the Jameson who might shop at a retailer that carries your product. Uh, so I think to me, Omnichannel is uh, really about the customer experience. And as customer expectations uh, continue to increase, it's uh, finding ways that you can meet whatever those expectations are. There are sort of two sides to Omnichannel, which is the front end, so making sure you connect the customer experience from mobile to web to the store. But really, it's also from an inventory perspective as well, which is just making sure that uh, customers have access to whatever inventory or product they would like to buy, no matter uh, where you place it or what channel you originally try to sell it through. So really just making sure the customer has access to the full suite of uh, products or capabilities or experiences that a retailer wants to offer. For us, Omnichannel is about being able to source from any different channel. Could be retail, could be direct from wholesale channels, could be online, um, and across the world. So Omnichannel for us is being able to sell through any channel that consumers are currently shopping through. Well, Omnichannel to me really means providing a consistent, convenient, 
uh, shopping experience and really enabling the customer to purchase however she wants to purchase products. But it's really not just about purchasing, it's also about the delivery experience. Uh, being able to create a convenient, fast uh, delivery experience for the customer is incredibly important and so retailers re really need to have the systems and tools in place in their supply chain to enable that.